1996, Seattle, Washington. A man by the name of Dr. Jonathan Reed is walking his dog in the woods when suddenly his dog takes off. The dog barks, then starts yelping in terror. What Dr. Reed encounters next is astonishing. Part reptilian, part gray alien has his dog by the head, shaking it so violently the dog's head is ripped in half, and then its corpse disintegrates into a pile of white ash. Shocked, Reed grabs a nearby stick and strikes the alien down with a fury of blows. But what happened after that? What evidence does Dr. Reed have of his encounter? And whatever happened to the alien? Let's try and find out. Hello, I'm Mike Droberg, a Marine Corps veteran and filmmaker, and we will answer these questions on today's episode of Paranormal History. After his dog was killed, Reed struck the alien with a stick, killing it. He captured the alien creature on film, and the creature's obelisk, which can be seen on the footage. The obelisk was theorized to be the alien spaceship, or possibly a portal to another dimension. Also, in his video, Reed can be heard panting heavily, to the point of hyperventilating. However, Critics say the video didn't shake enough, and his panic was too audible to be authentic. What do you think? Reed then managed to take the alien home, where he made a video of investigating the four and a half foot tall alien being. He told the audience that his attempts to cut the alien's clothes were thwarted, as its black spandex-like outfit automatically sewed itself back up every time he cut into it. When asked whether the alien was a male or female, Reed said he didn't know, adding offhandedly that he hadn't made love to her. Ultimately, the being disappeared from Reed's freezer. Stolen by government officials who reportedly had government license plates on a white, nondescript van. And Reed apparently has been on the run ever since his alien encounter. He told reporters that he's been beaten up by government agents three times and two of his close friends have been killed. He says his life has been ruined, and that he lost nearly all things he enjoyed before his encounter, such as a steady job, a home, and a girlfriend. Recently, he was shot in the shoulder after trying to wrestle a gun from a stranger approaching him in the parking lot. The controversial contactee also co-authored a book called The Link, which contends that mysterious agents are chasing Reed for a technology that the alien wore on his wrist. Something like a transmitter receiver, this hieroglyphic engraved bracelet turned from silver to black when Reed clasped it on the alien's arm. It is believed that the wristband served as a tracking device that maintained a connection with the alien's nine foot long coffin-like craft. Sean Atlante of San Diego is convinced that the government agents are hell-bent upon torturing Reed to death by physical and psychic means. Dan Iaria of Indianapolis, having spent hours with Reed, contends that the purportedly haunted Reed demonstrates credibility and character as he tells his story. And finally, Dr. Heim, a remote viewing specialist from Colorado, told the audience that his colleague was able to remotely view the alien's craft with little prompting. Regardless what the experts say, the skeptics argue that Reed's video comes across as having a little bit too much polish. They also take issue with his seemingly overdone emotions, as demonstrated by his tendency to weep mid-sentence. Further, critics wonder why Reed didn't make a greater effort to relay his story to the police from the very beginning. It's clear that the Reed story will continue to inspire debate for the near future. Most likely, the case will decisively divide the ufology community as experts grapple with how much credence should be given to an encounter experienced by one person alone in the woods. Reed became a celebrity on the UFO circuit, but many UFO fans are not convinced, saying that Dr. Jonathan Reed has refused to allow his evidence to be analyzed and that he may be even using a false name. 
a UFO watchdog site says it has been since discovered that Dr. Jonathan Reed is actually a Seattle, Washington resident named John Bradley Rudder. He has lived in Seattle, Washington the entire time he claimed to be on the run from evil government agents. And he isn't a doctor, nor has a PhD, and has no college degrees for that matter. Furthermore, in a 2010 episode of the series Fact or Fake Paranormal Files, the Fact or Fake team was able to duplicate the entire read video nearly shot to shot. Since this did not entirely eliminate the authenticity of Reed's original footage, the team decided to do a voice stress test on Reed himself. The test ultimately proved that Reed was extremely deceptive about the incident. While these tests doesn't entirely prove it to be a hoax, all of the evidence points to fraud. And the alien research community has accepted that the Reed video was a fake. I asked my AI software to recreate the scene of Reed's alien encounter. Well, as you can see for yourself, I don't think the AI believes him either. But what are your thoughts on the Reed incident? Government cover-up or hoax? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Paranormal History. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for shows, please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time.